A company that's been fighting for their religious freedom is Hobby Lobby. And with me now is the president of Hobby Lobby, Steve Green. Hey, Steve. Thanks for coming, man. Thanks you for bet. being here. Thank you, David, for having me. All right, you guys, uh, hopefully everybody knows Hobby Lobby anyway. I mean, we ought to be stockholders with you guys as much as we spend <laughs> at your stores. But Hobby Lobby all over the country, how many employees do you have? About 26,000. 26,000. How many stores you got? 550 stores. So probably everybody knows Hobby Lobby. Right. You guys are in the middle of a lawsuit that is on its way to the Supreme Court for appeal that may dramatically restructure Obamacare by the fact that they have said you guys are not allowed to have a conscience, a religious conscience, if you have Obamacare. T tell us what happened. Ha well, when the Supreme Court made the decision that uh, this was a tax, we realized that there was a provision in this uh, uh, HHS mandate that was going to be problematic for us, and that is the mandate that uh, an employer would have to provide at no cost to their employees abortifacients or drugs that uh, we believe will cause an abortion uh, the morning after, the week after pill. And so uh, because of the fact that uh, we believe that life begins at conception, uh, it was an issue that uh, we uh, realized we were going to have to fight in court. So we filed suit uh, to not have to provide uh, at no cost to our employees these abortive drugs. When I watched that down here and I knew that you guys had filed suit, I thought, Oklahoma, good news. We win this one. And I was shocked when the district judge in Oklahoma said that, no, 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 conscience, a business can't express a conscience. But I mean, what, did the judge tell you what he based that on? Why you guys are not allowed to have a conscience as a business? Right, and that's basically the ruling was the fact that as a company, we don't, are not allowed to exercise religious freedoms. Now, it has been determined in the courts that free speech rights can be uh, exercised by corporations, newspapers, and the like. Uh, but this has been an issue that I guess has never really been tried in the courts. Do companies have the right to exercise religious freedoms? And the judge uh, locally uh, determined that they didn't and felt like we would not win the case. And so he did not give us the injunction that we were asking for. So you get some, con which is nuts. I mean, as a company, you get some constitutional rights like free speech, but you don't get other constitutional rights in the very same amendment, which is the right of, of religious conscience. And, 